We looked at volume in terms of high repetitions and low repetitions. If we look at the top box, we can see, let's take Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now, all of the things we've tried to do, we've tried to look at the repetition ranges, but we've also in this unit, in this module, looked at programming strategies in terms of undulating programming. So if you look at the top box, you can see all of this put into practice. Eight sets of six on Monday, that's a lot of sets, and we'll get to that. But then on Wednesday, we have four reps, and Friday, we have two reps. That's a 6-4-2 undulation. On the bottom, in the high repetition group in this study, we have 12 reps on Monday, 10 reps on Wednesday, and eight reps on Friday. So we have two different daily undulating programming strategies, right? 6-4-2 and 12-10-8. Why did we choose these? Well, if you remember, strength is recommended less than or equal to six reps. So two to, four, two to six reps is right in that uh, wheelhouse, if you will. And then hypertrophy, we recommended eight to 12 reps. So across the week, we're training between eight and 12 reps. So even though these are undulating programming strategies, one of them fits solely into the textbook definition of hypertrophy, and one of them solely into the textbook definition of strength. So if we take a look, we can now see throughout a week, if we just calculate somebody with 100 kilogram max, we get total volumes of 8,180 kilograms in the low rep group, and in the high rep group, 8,280 kilograms. Those are almost identical. And we calculate it off of the same max, meaning that relative volume is the same. And that's what's really key here in terms of relative volume. Because if you have two people that have different maxes, but you want to calculate volume, you can only calculate volume and compare it to yourself, right? If you do that and you try to, to compare yourself that is 100 kilo max with the 200 kilo max, and you try to equate for volume between those, the person with a 200 kilogram max is inevitably gonna have higher absolute volume. So we equate it for relative volume here. So when we take a look at the study, here are our results. We looked at chest muscle thickness. This is an ultrasound measure of hypertrophy. So from pre to post, you can see each group, DUP low reps on the left and DUP high reps on the right. So again, the low reps was a 6-4-2 undulation throughout the week, and the high reps was a 12-10-8 undulation. And this training uh, study occurred over eight weeks. So after the eight weeks from pre to post, you can see an asterisk over each post-training bar. That means that there was a significant increase in muscle thickness or hypertrophy of the chest in both groups, but there was no difference between the groups. So therefore, one group did no more than six repetitions in any training session and received the same, received the same hypertrophy as individuals that did 12, 10, and eight repetitions. Therefore, as we said before, for mechanistic reasons, moderate to higher repetitions are actually not better than lower repetitions for hypertrophy, but there are practical implications to discuss. High reps are more time efficient. If you can see on the left, as I said, and we, I told you we'd get back to this, the group that did six repetitions on Monday and had the 6-4-2 undulation, they had to do eight sets when they did six reps, they had to do nine sets when they did four reps, and they had to do 10 sets when they did two reps. All of that, that took an average 180 minutes for training session for just the squat and bench because we had mandatory five to seven minute rest intervals. Now on the right, you can see when individuals did the high repetition training, 12, 10, and eight reps throughout the week, they had four sets on the 12 repetition day, four sets on the 10 repetition day, and five sets on the eight repetition day. That's much more typical of the amount of sets we, could, we would do, and you can see that only took them 90 minutes. That's half of the time. So I would certainly rather achieve the volume threshold I need to in half of the time than training for much longer if the purpose of this is indeed hypertrophy.